So you may have seen a video or two discussing selling these AI generated Tumblr wraps either on physical tumblers through Printify or as digital downloads. Well after analyzing as many videos on the topic as I could find I've come up with a more efficient way to take advantage of this trend and yes this is trending. With the methods I'm about to show you you'll be able to accomplish what these YouTubers are discussing faster with better results all with no more than a $13 subscription to Canva. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at Allura and let me show you why I think you should jump on this trend. If I use their product research tool, the Product Seeker, and type in Tumblr wraps with a minimum of 20 monthly sales and search, you're going to see a bunch of these 3D Tumblr wraps. Look at this bee honeycomb design. This listing has already generated $669 and it's only 10 days old. And these are all just digital downloads. Let's take a better look at this embroidered flowers design. Okay, this one has generated $1,169 and it's only 20 days old. So let's go ahead and analyze the shop that produced these images and take a better look at their total sales and how long they've been open. And as you can see, this shop has generated $169,500 in just over two months. They opened on April 19th of 2023. And if I take a look at their monthly revenue, $84,750, and do the quick math, it does equal the $169,500 in two months, which is actually absolutely unbelievable and shows there is a tremendous demand for this product. And as you can see, they also hit the market hard with 726 listings. But please don't let this discourage anyone. I'll leave a link in the description for 40 free listings to get you started. And the listings on Etsy only cost 20 cents a piece. I would take this seriously, people. These sales are crazy look at this all ai generated art 3d tumblr wraps so if you're ready to try your hand at selling digital downloads then stick around because i'm about to show you how to properly do this quickly with minimal investment first i'll demonstrate the process for physical tumblers then the digital downloads all right the first thing we need to do is generate our images i'm going to be using leonardo ai you'll get 150 free credits a day here and you are allowed to sell these images commercially I like to start by using the community feed and actually I know what style I'm after so I'm going to skip right down to the paper art style that I'm looking for. Then I will simply use the remix function. Now I've also found while using the paper art style adding the word quill to the command gives a cleaner result. After that I'll just replace whatever I want the image to be from what it is and possibly change the color scheme. So here I'll replace London Bridge with butterflies then click generate. Okay, so as you can see, these are nice and probably usable, but not quite what I'm after. I didn't get any butterflies at all. So now I'm going to turn on the prompt magic tool from the sidebar on the left. This will enhance the strength of our prompt. And then I'll generate again. And there we go. Now we get some beautiful butterflies that are definitely three dimensional and very clean. Oh, I almost forgot. And this is important. You also need to turn on the tiling feature that will give you the seamless print on your tumblers. I'll show you exactly what I mean when I'm creating the mockups in Printify later. Now I'm going to quickly change the color this time from white and blue to violet and bright pastels and click generate again and as you can see very nice very clean beautiful butterflies that are again seamless as I will demonstrate. So to check if your designs are actually seamless you can use the free seamless texture checker just drag and drop your image here and you can zoom in and out and make sure it is actually seamless. Now these images look really good even zoomed in tight like this but I would still recommend the following steps to increase the overall quality of the final printed product. Product. The first step we want to upscale this image. For this I'm going to be using pixelbin.io and their free image upscaler. You can drag and drop your image and it will upload and then you can go to the storage and click the three little dots at the top right corner of the image and click transform. Then from the sidebar on the left we're going to click on upscale. Change it to four times and click apply. This will greatly enhance the overall quality of our final image. Next you want to use photop.com this is a free version of Photoshop. Here we want to go to image, then click image size and increase the DPI from 75 to 300. And at this point, we also need to resize the image to what is necessary to fit our tumbler. After experimenting, I found that 2790 wide by 2460 high fits best on 20 ounce tumblers. And now we're ready to move on to Printify. And I'm going to select the bottles and tumblers from the catalog. I'm just going to use this 20 ounce tumbler. Feel free to use any of these that you like. I'll click start designing and then I can drag and drop my image on this page and it will upload to my design. Now I'm going to carefully resize this into the dark black bordered outline, especially on the left and right side, as this will create the seamless effect in the back of the tumbler where the design wraps together. Now, if you're close, but it's not quite matching on the back side like this, then you can make very minute adjustments down here in the command boxes marked width and height. I'm just going to change the width from 8.92 to 8.93 and get rid of that fine line in the back side of the tumbler. 
and now you can see we have a perfectly seamless design. Now let me quickly show you how to create your own custom mockups for these tumblers using Canva. Once you're here and you have a design open and the elements tab checked, then you want to type in the search box mockup table. I'm going to use this mockup that already has a coffee cup because of the shadow that is cast on the table and I'll show you how. You just need to select edit photo, then select the magic erasure tool, then I will simply brush over the image of the coffee cup and Canva's artificial intelligence will remove the object and replace the background. Now you need to go save to your computer one of your mock-up images from Printify. Bring it back here to Canva, then just edit the photo and use the background remover tool this time, and then you can place your tumbler on the table in the mock-up and it will be casting this nice shadow for us. And just really quickly, if you're getting any value from the video, I want to encourage you to smash that like button. And if you have any questions on what we've covered, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. All right, so now let me demonstrate how to prepare the digital downloads to be sold on Etsy. We're going to follow basically the same procedure, creating the images, upscaling them and resizing them. Except this time we want to resize them to 9.3 inches by 8.2 inches. So I will unlink the width and the height, change the pixels to inches and enter 9.3 wide and 8.2 tall. Now just repeat the process for however many images you plan on selling in your bundle. And now you're going to want to create a new folder in your drive. I'm going to call this folder 3D Tumblr Wraps. Access your purchase inside. Then just select the three little dots on the folder or right click it and select share. Then change the general access setting from restricted to anyone with a link can view. And now you're done here. Then you just want to add all of your images you want in your bundle to this folder. And then we need to complete the final step and link this folder to a downloadable PDF page in Canva. So once you have all the images in this folder, then you want to right click on the folder and copy the link. And now we'll head to Canva and I'll quickly show you how to create the PDF. Here I use this A4 document and this page can be as simple or as decorative as you like. I type in download app and it brought up these templates here. So I use the first template with the big click here button. Now I'll just clean this up really quickly. Change the title to 3D Tumblr Wraps. And as you can see, it already has the thank you and download files from your purchase written out here for me. And here's the important part. We need to link the drive folder to this click here button. To do this, simply right click the button, then select link and paste the URL to the drive folder here, then click enter. This will allow your customer to click this button to gain access to the purchase. And now we're ready to download this, making sure to change the format to PDF so the link will remain active. Then just copy this new link. And that's it. We are now ready to go list this for sale on Etsy. Here you're going to create a new listing and you want to add all your images and mockups. You want to fill out the listing details like who made it, I did, what is it, a finished product, when was it made, recently, 2020 to 2023. And this is important, you need to change the type of product from physical to digital. And if you happen to be struggling with your descriptions and finding tags, just examine a successful listing that's similar to yours and mimic that, changing what you need to suit your specific listing. Then you need to set your price, I'm setting mine at $2.49, and also the quantity is unlimited. Now here under digital files is where you want to upload your PDF from Canva. Now if I click this link to test, you'll see this PDF is what your customer will receive. Then they'll be able to click here and gain access to their purchase. And there you go. You can now publish your digital download for sale on Etsy. Now as for listing your physical tumblers, you simply link your Etsy store or any of these stores here in Printify. Then when you publish, it will populate to whatever stores you've selected, in this case Etsy. So this time you'll fill out all the necessary details here in Printify. Most important, you're going to want to bring the price down from 40% profit margin to around 15% to keep your prices competitive. And now when you publish from here, it will automatically list in your Etsy store. Now you can go to your listing on Etsy and add any necessary details. Same as before, changing these two I did finished product 2023 etc I then selected this is metal I also set my renewal option to automatic and this is a physical product so we need to select this as well then again you need to fill out your description and tags make sure your price is correct everything else here is standard so now we are ready to publish and there you have it you are now ready to sell AI generated tumblr wraps and tumblers on Etsy or whatever platform you like Please don't forget to smash that like button for me on the way out. And if you have any questions, I answer all my comments. So leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.